Hi, here we're going to look at Hornbill's custom lookup feature. In particular, we're going to look at the benefits that it can bring to your workflow performance and how it's going to help you create much better workflows much faster. But before we start looking at how to set up and use custom lookups, let's start looking at a common scenario that we see our customers face with Hornbill, which is one of the main areas that custom lookups is going to help you with. So here in our workflow designer, we're going to look at a common use case. We're going to look at a typical workflow for managing requests. Now, we're going to start with a blank canvas here. And first, we can see we have a Hornbill automation node. And here we're using the request entity to get the request information and bring it into the workflow. Now, what we're going to see next is very common practice, and this can cause a number of issues. When you do this at scale, it can cause your browser to slow down. It can throw up a lot more potential for adding human errors in as well. But what we want to do as the first part of this request is we want to determine which team to assign it to. Now let's assume this workflow is used across a number of catalog items. And we need to determine which catalog item was selected to then assign it to the appropriate team. Now currently, the best way to do this is using a series of decision nodes. And you can think of these as simply a bunch of if statements. I'm going to skip through this workflow design quite quickly so we can see the main points. Now, with our decision nodes, we're then going to connect them to a further Hornbill automation. And the logic here is that the decision node will determine which catalog item has been selected. And then the following Hornbill automation node will assign it to the appropriate team. So we can see here, we're going to use a service manager entity for assigning to team. So for each of these decision nodes, we're going to need a custom expression. Our custom expression is looking for the condition that the catalog item is equal to this name here. We'll then need to do this for all of our decision nodes and then use the following automation nodes to assign them to the right team. Now, in practice, this can take a bit of time. And then when we want to start using similar logic for other applications, such as assigning the appropriate category, we're going to need a whole other set of decision nodes. And when we have perhaps 10, 20, 30 teams and categories, our workflow is really going to start getting messy and the performance of it is going to slow down a bit. So custom lookups is our solution to this. And it can turn a workflow that looks like this into something far simpler that looks like this. But first, let's see how we'll get there. So in the service manager configuration area, you'll see this new menu item called custom lookups. Now, I've already got three created here. But for the purpose of the example that we just set up, we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it team assignment. Now a custom lookup quite simply is defining a mapping or a set of mappings, which we call records. You can see here when we create the custom lookup, we get to choose the area where this is made and we're going to leave this as a default, which is workflows, because that's where we want it to surface. Now here in our reference type, we get to choose what kind of mapping we're going to associate. And for this, we're going to select the service catalog item which is what we need. We're going to leave the status as active here, so we know it runs, but there is the option to leave it unpublished. So now that we've created this lookup, we need to populate it with some records. So by selecting here to view the information, let's start adding some records. So here we can reference the name of the first catalog item. We can choose the entity that we want to associate it to, which here is the team. However, do note these other entities that you can create records for here. And we hope to be adding to this list as we develop this feature out further. And here we're able to select the team that that catalog item is going to be mapped to. We can repeat this process for all of the catalog items in our workflow so that we end up with a series of records that define those mappings. So what that means is we can start a workflow from scratch that's going to be far simpler than the one we first created. So let's start off with a Hornbill automation 
that does as it did before, it gets the request details. So here, instead of a series of decision nodes, we can add one single Hornbill automation node, and we can use the entity custom lookups. We can add a follow on Hornbill automation that assigns the team. But what we can do here is we can use the variable picker that looks at the previous Hornbill automation node and it gets the custom lookup and it injects it directly into the variable for the team. So that's it. We've gone from this to this. By setting your records in the custom lookup area of Service Manager, you can simplify and streamline your workflow logic and improve their performance significantly.